If you want to add photos, text, channel logo to the car like this in Automobile Studio 2, then you come to the right place. So in this video, I'll show you how to add photos, text and pretty much everything else on the Formula 1 car or any other car that has a skin pack separately will work. So watch this whole video without skipping. So right now you've already seen how to paste your photograph or paste any object on the car of Automobile Studio 2. But that any car should have a file that extension is .dds. This is actually a texture work plugin. So for that you will need a few things like Adobe Photoshop, you will need Photoshop and you will also need Intel texture plugin. So go to just Google uh, search the Intel texture works and you will get this website. You will get download this one. So just click on the first link Photoshop. I click download plugin and on the top you see zip on the zip button over here and it will download the Intel texture works dot zip file. So just click on and download it. Now it's completed. The texture work 1.0.4 and then we will just click on 7 zip. You can also it's a zip file. Windows will also uh, recognize it. Just don't have to extract it. Just, just open the folder and here there's an instruction given here. It's saying that how to install it. You, you cannot simply direct click on install and Will install it for you no this will not happen you have to manually install it so for that is the instruction has been given on the website you can also follow that or i'll tell you the easy way now all you have to do is open the downloads here it's being downloaded and just click on to being downloaded it will be a zip file don't panic it's a zip file just double click on it windows will automatically open the zip file and after it's been downloaded click here again on the plugin side you'll see two versions x 4 win32 Win32 is basically for Windows 32 bit, Windows 10 or Windows 11 32 bit, and Win S64 is for Windows 10 or Windows 11 64 bit. Mine one is 64 bit, and I hope your will also be 64 bit. Click on the 64 and copy it. After copying it, you have to visit that directory where Adobe Photoshop is being installed. It's already installed. So, my lucky guess is C drive, program files. Adobe and Photoshop. This is where it's most of you, most of, most of the people uh, watching my video will see Adobe Photoshop being installed in the directory only. Let me zoom in all the folders. You have to see the required. And after required, on here you have to find one more folder called plugins. You see this one? Plugins. On the plugins, go to file formats. Here you have to paste the Intel texture work. I've already pasted here. Let me show you again. Just paste it. There's a file in the destination. Okay, it's in pasted. First step done. Now comes the second step. Second step is go to downloads again. The Intel texture work. Now Photoshop script. Okay, there's a Photoshop script again. Double click on it. Copy both the files. Ping both the files and then again we'll go to the same directory. Back to the base directory of the Adobe Photoshop. There you'll see one folder called preset. You'll see scripts. Yeah, on the preset you will see scripts. Let me zoom in. Scripts, and then on the scripts, you see Intel texture work. I've already pasted here. I will again paste it for you. Just press I. Intel texture work, and Intel texture work cube Gaussian blur. Just right click, paste. Place the file in the destination. It's already pasted. Now it's being installed. Now, now all you have to do is, is simply open up the Photoshop. I'll go and click on Photoshop. Now Photoshop will open. But before that, you will need a few, I will not say mods because this is just copy paste. Anything which you can copy paste and make it work on the game is not mods. It's just a skin, our skin. Now Photoshop has been open. So now what you have to do is, so now we'll head on to the automobile stuff folder. This is where the game is being installed. I need to go to vehicles, go to textures, custom liveries, overrides and here I have installed a few liveries for formula 1. You will get that easily on the race department. It's actually completely free. Formula Ultimate 2022, F1 2022. I have also there are some extra cars. So on the extra cars folder there will be some file like this. Okay, it looks creepy but it looks like the car has been opened up wide. But this is actually the 3D version of the car which we are looking at. So uh, let me, this, this one is, this is the one which I've edited and this is the one which I haven't edited. Let me, I'll show you both of them. 
Okay, now I'll just drag both of them onto here. Both the files are now being opened here. So this is the one, this is the, the default one. And this is the one which I edited. You saw my face, my ugly face on. Okay, so do not convert it to normal layer. Okay, you can cancel. Select Control A and then you can drag it up. Don't drag. Just for to show you, I'm just doing it. Do not move anything. So this is the image. You can see. Uh, this is my face. And that's it. You can also add flag. You can you can add anything. You can add your mother, you can add your father, your brother, sister, your puppy, your cat, anything. Okay, and also you can add text. I've added my logo, my channel name and pretty much that's everything and how to edit all those things well you'll have to learn a little bit about photoshop so this is all editing nothing more nothing less but the main thing is that you have to edit it on that part where there is color it means this is the front part of the car this is the side part of the car you have to uh, make you have to actually use your own sense to see which part so this is the front wing the top part is this, the front wing so if you edit anything over here it will reflect on the game and pretty much it so this is the front part and you can also this is the rear wing the rear wing is not visible from here but anyway you can do it on your own you can just add text you press T you see here you can add text and you can add images so if you, do, if you don't if you have zero idea about Photoshop you can just google it how to add images and you can you'll, you'll get a lot of videos on youtube how to edit on photoshop and just click on now the main part how to save it after you have done all the editing part click on save as now see on the save as type you'll see intel texture box you do not save it as zip or sorry the jpg or jpeg or png you save it as intel texture work right works yeah intel texture work dot dds this is very important after saving it that's all your file has been saved now when you open the game you will have all these images pop up on the screen just for just to show you i will add a few images Let's see if i open up images what will i get the download section i have one more images of me holding the camera one image of my steering wheel okay then so this is the steering wheel and this is me holding the camera I'll just add my face on the car and you'll see pretty much that this is the only visible part. This will be the only visible part. So on the extra four file, I'll edit. Just paste it right there. My face is not visible properly. So never mind. I'll just upside down. Make it a little bit smaller. A bit bigger. That. I'll use the eraser tool just press E and the eraser tool is part only my face is visible and next I will add my steering wheel just add my steering roughly it will be I'm just doing a rough so if you haven't seen my Mercedes video then you can also see my how I made the steering wheel it's quite fun made of plywood only press the W button it will select everything you want or you can also select the select subject it will select it for you okay so i'll press ctrl c and i'll press ctrl v looking ugly but again it doesn't matter paste this on the left side and I'll again paste one more on the right side my logo is also there you can also type anything you want Next, we have done everything what you have to do is save it save this file now remember one thing there will be two extra files extra cars in extra cars extra three and extra four extra three will only be shown because the first one this is the first one extra four will not be shown so what i will do here is that i will make a backup of extra three i'll go back and paste it here I'll go, back, I'll go back again to extra two just to show you guys the how this trick works you don't have to do this for whichever i'm doing i'm doing it for myself copy the uh, editing card now i will rename the extra four i'll just press a control s 
for file i'll go to i go as save as and i will rename this as extra 3 for dds that will replace that file and that will actually pop up in the game because if i save it like that okay it's being opened so i will close it let's go again save as extra three. i'll save as extra 3 dds i'll save it now it's being saved now i will open the game directly so extra three and if there is there are two if there are two files of same name only the first one will be shown in the game because those two are will be the same same card this is pretty much fun if you are using a gt3 card you can paste your photo on the side window or you can paste your photo on the door everywhere even on the spoiler you can paste your photo but the thing is we have to see the image and visualize how the car will look like in the 3d mode now i'll go to single ring i'll go to uh this day. livery now that same livery is being chosen if i go to again showroom see the gamepad i'll take a photo now we are in the photo mode i go up see just now we have pasted the gamepad and now the gamepad is right there other side and I'll also show you my horrible face look at my horrible face and this is the gamepad this is the, the steering wheel which I just loaded there on Photoshop here. that's all it's pretty simple uh, that's it it's actually for those guys who are new to Photoshop it might not be simple but this time you get actually just remember one thing any .dds file in any game can be modified and the game will not be corrupted do not worry about that that's all that's all for today's video i hope you really got the point and regarding the mods these are, these are actually not mods these are actually skins for formula one you can download from uh, you can download from race department i will post the links for these skins you will be needing these skins and if just in case i will be quitting the game right now desktop because every other car doesn't have a .dds file only this uh, skins have the .dds file so from this dds file the game reads it and then it converts it to the model of the car that's all for today's video uh, any link which you want will be in the description below and uh, that will be completely for free i will not charge anything so in return i just want your support that's your support means a lot to me and that's all and wish you a merry christmas and See you on my next video and also I'll see you soon on the next year. Till then, goodbye. In a full photo. Dirty overtake, huh? So this is the part. Okay, oh boy, oh boy. Never knew this would happen. Oh this is crazy. Oh, this is okay. Damage is turned off. There's no other option than to turn off the damage. There are flares on my left. There's no sound effect like play on the right, play on the left to assist me after.